I thought I would give you an update on my awkwardly large paint sample book journal thing. Um, it's still kind of trying to figure out what it wants to be, but I, I think I'm starting to to pick up on uh, where it wants to go, and I'll show you where that is. Um, first of all, I haven't put the handles on it yet. I haven't made handles for it yet, but that is something I still intend to do because it is large and getting larger. <laughs> I have put some stuff on the spine, and it is just little things that I've come across, some hang tags from packaging and these corks that used to hang from ceiling fans and then I don't need them in this house anymore so I stuck them here and ribbons from Happy Mail and yes I did accidentally sew right through that piece of ribbon when I was binding in a new signature <laughs> and it was too much trouble to go back and fix it so I just left it and I'm pretending that it's a thing you know <laughs> It was supposed to be that way. It's a, it's a thing. It's a technique. So, mm -hmm. there I am with that. And inside, okay, still doing some doodling, but this is really starting to take on more of a smash book, glue book type thing because I'm finding that I'm really enjoying sticking stuff in it. <laughs> Um, I've gone through my image binders and kind of tried to clean them out and yeah that was ridiculous because you can't even tell I took anything out. Didn't make a dent in them. But I did pull out quite a few things that I've been sticking in here. Just some extra stuff, some duplicates and things I haven't been using. So I'll just, I'll just go through and show you. I had some extra flowers. That one I pulled it out of my stack of flowers that I'd made because it was kind of plain and I thought, oh, it needs help. I'll, I'll add something to it. But then I wasn't in the mood. So I just stuck it in here. Did that with a couple of them. I added a bunch of magazine cutouts that I've cut recently. and Those are some die cuts that I've had sitting around for a couple of years and haven't been using them, so stuck them there. Put some uh, extra pieces of stuff and packing lists and receipts and things like that. I sometimes pull out pieces of ephemera and little things that I'm going to use on a project or that I think I might use on a project and then if I end up not using them I just stick them in this, I have this little tray thing, which is kind of like my to be filed area, you know. I just stick it in there knowing that later I need to put it away. Well, sometimes <laughs> they just stay in there for months and months, <laughs> which was the case with this little um, envelope thing. So, yeah, it, instead of putting it back where it goes, it was easier <laughs> to just stick it in here. So, there's uh, several of those type things in here. There's some product packaging. Uh, this I love. She was out of a magazine. And inside are some ads that were for a, uh, uh, I think a Washington State lottery for their scratch-off tickets. It was a Father's Day promotion. So, you know, it has a picture of this big, gorgeous house, and it says, no one should have to live like this. This Father's Day, make a difference. Give scratch. That's the, what they call their scratch-off lottery tickets. Alan Hall has never known creme brulee. Without your help, this man's tanning salon membership may expire. <laughs> Those just really, really make me happy. <laughs> so, and I love the way this whole little thing is looking with all the gray tones. Yeah, that's good stuff. Um, magazine images and mail and stuff and my sample spoon from the custard shop and a pharmacy bag and a flower that's right where the nose should be on that picture which I like and some product packaging so yeah scraps 
you can kind of see it's just a little bit of everything and it makes absolutely no sense there's not like a, a theme or anything going on it's just random and I um, I love that about it um, this I just tied in it's not really bound it's just sort of tied but I got it in the mail it's from house and they sell uh, fonts and stuff but they have this little brochure of theirs is printed on French paper oh it just feels so nice and I love their fonts and yeah I just had to put this in here and keep it magazine cut out which actually looks kind of fabulous right there um, <clears throat> yeah you can see it's just a little bit of oh th these were uh, I was looking through a catalog I can't remember what catalog it was country living or one of those and I just started cutting out stuff that I liked out of the catalog and started sticking it down and then I started building a little scene out of the little things that I was cutting out <laughs> and that really kind of made me happy to do that <laughs> and it really the way it turned out it's it's almost kind of hard to tell that everything's pieced together so that was really fun I'm gonna do some more of these in fact I got a um, <clears throat> Ballard design catalog the other day and I thought ooh you know I'm gonna cut out tons of stuff from it no I found like maybe four or five things to cut out and that was it. I was so disappointed. I'm just, yeah. Normally I find tons of stuff in Ballard, but I'm not liking their recent stuff. Um, that was a church brochure, a magazine page, and these tags. I had a bunch of duplicates of those, so I stuck them there. And, oh, there we go. Um, those were some die cuts or punches or something. Same with these. I think these were some die cuts that I never really used. I put them there. There's the end piece off of the scrapbook page. And uh, oh, this is all I found out of the ba Ballard catalog. Which, you know, it's kind of sad because normally I find tons of stuff I love in there, but <clears throat> not this time. And there might be a whole lot more. I can't remember. Oh, okay, little random images here and there. Uh, some packaging, some. I think I printed those off the internet. I had duplicates, so I stuck them there. And oh, that one just has some little, I don't even know what. I cut them out of a magazine. Let's see, added a few little bits and pieces there. And I stuck a bird cage over that chandelier just cuz and I bound in this is the Duluth Trading gift guide I love Duluth Trading they're, um, the names of some of their products are hilarious and then their their product descriptions are funny so um, yeah I, I like that so I put it in there I want to keep it And that may be all. Oh, I put these little scraps there, and then a few things that I had printed out and had extras. And that is it. But let me tell you, it's hard to not <laughs> work in this. <laughs> I have a little uh, flat tray thing that I just keep throwing stuff in as I come across it during the day and then in the evenings if I sit and watch TV with Jason I just um, put this in my lap and just glue stuff in and um, I, I, I am really enjoying it um, I thought that I would be intimidated by the big size you know and I wouldn't know what to do and wouldn't put anything down but oh those are all um, pharmacy labels 
but there's duplicates. They aren't all like one from each medication. Trust me. Well, maybe they are, but well, I'm sure there's a duplicate in there somewhere. But anyway, yeah, this is uh, this is all kinds of fun. I would encourage you to make something like this if you haven't already. Of course, you can do it on a slightly smaller scale if you know this big honking thing is not your style. Um, but yeah, I'm liking the the just gluing weird random stuff that makes no sense in it. So that is all I have for now for me and my big paint swatch book. So. The end.